Hello, today we're here to learn about energy harvesting technology from NXP. It is a very exciting technology that has many, many application uses. The first question to ask is why do we need energy harvesting? We need it for long operating life conditions, things that are repetitive or occur quite frequently in time may wear out a battery for energy harvesting applications that actually works better. The more repetition you can get, the more impulse you can get, the better and longer life you'll get out of the system. Batteries require lots of maintenance. You have to replace the batteries. You may have to hire specialized people to get access to the devices to replace the batteries. You also have to know when the batteries have to be replaced and account for that downtime on the devices, and then you may have to require specialized personnel, maybe union labor to replace the battery, and also the chemistry. What operating conditions are you running in may require different chemistries. Energy harvesting can avoid a lot of those problems and complications you have with batteries. Another problem with batteries is wide operating temperature. The wider the operating temperature, the more extreme the temperature, the harder it is to select the right battery chemistry. Typically, long-life batteries require very limited operating conditions. Energy harvesting actually works better the more extreme the conditions are. If there's more vibration, more shock, or more temperature differential, it would actually operate better. So it alleviates those problems you would see with a battery. We're going to show a demonstration of a reference design that NXP has developed. It uses an industry standard 802.15.4 device. It will be compliant with the Zigbee Green Power specification when that is finalized. All the power levels are compliant. We are just sending packets uh, across the network. You can connect up to a Zigbee network that you already have in your existing network, or you may use other software stacks that run on a 15.4 device. We have modified commercially available parts to do this demonstration. The application note shows you how you can do it on your own development boards from the development kit. Why use the NXP advantages? There's a lot of devices out there that do energy harvesting. However, they are not industry standard. And so if you already have an existing, for instance, Zigbee Pro network, you may be required to put multiple radios in your design. Using the NXP technology, you would not require multiple radios. One radio uh, would be used. And again, it's worldwide compliance. Some of these uh, non-industry standard devices may not work in certain countries. Because you're using a 15.4 radio from NXP, you know that it'll work anywhere in the world. It can be made compliance. We also work with a wide variety of energy harvesting devices. Some of the uh, closed standards that are out there use only one technology, maybe a snap action type of switch or a piezo element. We can work with any of those and use industry standard uh, radio transmission. You can also integrate it with other reference designs that we have. This technology is ideal for RFID tracking, for lighting applications, uh, all of those we have available from NXP. Another reference design we have is for audio, where you can push a button and communicate. If a person is in duress, they would be able to use this type of application and not worry about batteries. Mm -hmm. applications you can find some pictures of what the reference design looks like and the video that you'll see shortly. It is a custom-made PC board. It does feature the NXP JN5148 in both the light fixtures and the switch. And the energy harvester, some people call it a harvesting engine, with, again, a PC board featuring the device. Block diagrams, what's inside. The harvesting engine feeds the NXP JN5148 device. On the light fixture side, it has the single-chip, low-power RF solution radio, LED drivers, LEDs, and so forth. The LED light fixture radio remains in a listen mode. The energy harvester, again, when you press a button, you would harvest enough energy to wake up the JN5148 device and then transmit a 802.15.2 to the light fixture. It is a self-powered switch operation. There are no batteries in there. 
the motion or impulse of pressing the switch causes enough energy to again start up the 5148 device, make the transmissions, and then go back to sleep. Three packets are sent out, 2.5 dBm, and it requires 15 milliamps to transmit it. Sleep mode between transmissions to again uh, conserve power and 19 bytes of packets are sent, 13 bytes for the Mac. More information is found in the application note. Link is shown here in the document. This is what the current profile looks like. Again, we are the only device that is Zigbee Green compliant because we never exceed 20 milliamps. The radio is designed in hardware. There are no latency issues on interrupts with the microcontroller. We can gracefully start up the radio and never exceed the current specifications. The way the unit works for energy harvesting is that it sends out three pulses. One of those three pulses would be received by the light fixture and then it would act on that command whether it's dimming or turning on or off. Besides the snap action energy harvesting, a bunch of other devices are available. Uh, Peltier devices for temperature differential, uh, vibration harvesting, solar, RF energy harvesting, all of that is available. There is lots of supporting documentation, uh, user guides, application notes, white papers. The PDF file that you can pull down has links on it. So if you click somewhere on this document, there's a hidden buttons to be able to go directly to the web and get the latest version of the documents. In summary, NXP has the lowest power 15.4 radio. It's ideal for energy harvesting. It is worldwide compliant. It's an industry standard radio. Keeps you from putting multiple radios into your design. Uh, and again, as we keep stressing, it is worldwide compliant. We have the best solutions. Feel free to look at the video next, which will demonstrate the technology. Have a great day. Hello, I'm going to do a brief demonstration of the energy harvesting from NXP semiconductors. Here's the energy harvesting switch. It has no batteries in it. Contains a NXP JN5148 device along with a energy harvesting device. Two push button switches for dimming and on off control. The light fixtures contain a NXP JN5041 device battery powered LED drivers there's two of these they are matte set to belong to a specific network the switch again has no batteries in it completely battery free operation I can press the button harvest enough energy in order to send out the pulses to turn the light fixtures on or off I can also dim the light fixtures by turning them on. This shows that a single button press has enough energy to continue to read the switch and to send electrical impulses out for multiple levels of dimming. Again, a NXP JN5148 device working on an IEEE 802.15.4 network industry standard worldwide acceptance. Any other questions? Feel free to get a hold of your local NXP sales force.